So I like making tips and tricks, right? What I got here? A ground down socket. That was the point of that, huh? Pull the transmission off this thing. I didn't catch it. Dial pin there. No dial pin here. This is a old Chinese 12 millimeter. Measured it out. Ground it down. Got a new dial pin for free. Alright, so I'm working on the adapter plate. Obviously, this is the wrong side to go on. I had to cut a notch in the top here. <laughs> 12 millimeter socket. Serves as a nice dial pin. Schmutz in here. You get the idea. I might have to grind the block here at this boss. Because there's no other way to I'm going to have to put a stud here. So, keep plugging away at it, but to make up for the lack of hole here, just notch this out here and put a bolt here on the top. Alrighty, I think I'm going to make this work. A little recap action here. So, There's this boss here. I just took a electric die grinder, quarter inch chuck. Ground that bastard out. Doesn't do any doesn't serve any purpose for me. Ground down the nut a little bit. One's a little too long, but you get the point. There we go. My friend uh, Head Flow Inc. says that these uh, adapter plates are a real pain in the butt when you're trying to do an LS to a small block Chevy and vice versa. He's right. He's absolutely right. But I want to make this uh, setup work here. A little recap I use a 12 millimeter socket as my dowel pin. I ground out the boss so that it welded on nut would fit without an issue. And like I said, this is like a TCI adapter plate, I believe. So the adapter plate side of it's done. Now on to the transmission side of things. Here's a stall converter. And got a little grease here. Billet. Cock ring.
purpose of this is, oh, try to eyeball it as best as you can. Get it centered as close as humanly possible here. See? with our felt tip marker the 4L80s are worse they use this uh, 12 or 13 inch pattern. Oh, I'm not even on the right hole. Ah. I'm not used to looking through the camera uh, monitor. Basically, you got to grind away about an eighth of an inch. Centered as best as possible. You don't have to be perfect. Sorry about my feet. Yeah, I'm wearing flip flops. You want her centered as possible. And then get to work. After the grinder action, doesn't take much. That opened up the holes. Like I said, 480. Transmission flex plates are way worse. You have to grind away almost like a half an inch right, to make these big slots. Dad's car. All right, just about there. The flex plate back on. Got a little tip here for you. Most are aware, but a refresh never hurt. Loctite. Remember. Less is more with Loctite. You don't need a lot. to torque those to whatever. I don't know what they go to, what, 65, 75 foot-pounds. I'll have to look in the book. And that, my friends, should be it. I should be able to mount that BOP. Turbo 400 to this little baby 48. I'm going to torque them bolts. We got our ICT billet adapter. I open up the converter uh, bolt holes and I ground the block. I made a groove for the center bolt here because we're omitting this bolt. And all I have to do is go get some metric button head fasteners here, here, and here. And I think we're going to be in business as long as this converter bolts up to the, uh, I'm sorry, as long as the flex plate bolts up to the converter, we'll be good to go.